Hello and welcome to the Magpie Mama and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I might touch on something a little bit controversial. So this video is called Why Mums Should Shout at Their Children. <gasps> oh, how can I be a true attachment parent if I say such things? Uh -huh. Well, I was chatting to someone just the other day about this. Well, I overheard a conversation. I'm just going to dive right in. I thought this sounds good. Yeah, it's a really kind of contentious topic you know shouting at your children because we all have kind of when you talk about shouting shouting mums you all just kind of imagine that mum shouting in the someone a mum in the supermarket shouting at the child really going for it and everyone's looking really shocked it's like oh, could she do that how could she be so hideously awful and then there's the kind of conversations you have with well if she's doing that here what's she doing at home and stuff and we all put on these big judgment hats but you know what i want to say stop Let's just stop and take a step back because everything we see and say about other people is always a mirror of ourselves. So we can stop and think, okay, if we see someone shouting like that, why is she shouting like that? In my opinion, there are three reasons why we shout at our children. One, danger. So when we're frightened. So if they do something like kind of step into the road you know, without looking, I've seen many a parent scream at their child after that. No, it's, it's so angry and it's upset and it's all the fear coming in and it's basically they're shouting at the child because they're so frightened that their child would have just died in that moment. And that's really, it brings up just a huge explosion of emotions which really are all based in fear and oh, just been in relief that their child has not fallen into the road and died. So I think that's one of the reasons. So when there's kind of danger um, and on the other side of that coin there's shouting when there is danger saying, watch out for that running cow! I have been chased by a running cow. It is not pleasant it is very scary so that kind of danger shouting to tell them that there's danger ahead you know that's a shout that you know that's a really useful way of shouting then you've got your kind of friendly shouting you're like, over here over here you know another good kind of shouting that's okay yeah that's okay and then we've got the shouting which kind of comes for different reasons so when you hear someone shouting at a child in a supermarket, a lot of the time, the reason that they're shouting is because embarrassment. It's the fear of them being judged by other people, fear of their child being judged. And sometimes you'll see people, if a child does something, you know, that people deem as naughty, you know, and then everyone's looking at that parents go, did you see what she did then? And they're all looking. It's that kind of stop, the child does something, stop. Everyone looks and you've got a few seconds to make that decision. What are you going to do? Is it, you know, are you going to, are you going to be the parent that just goes, oh no, you're okay, it's all okay, it's fine. What do you get for that? Judgment. Are, are you going to be the parent that goes, oh no, no, it's okay, we'll, we'll sort it out at home. What do you get for that? Judgment. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes you become the parent that takes it, too far. I can't believe you did that. Oh, go well, on. I am so ashamed of you. I will take you home right now. I am really sorry, everybody. Becoming that kind of really shouty kind of, I'll show everyone that I'm a good parent because I'm going to really tell off this child and no one will judge me and my parenting skills will be shown to be absolutely amazing. And there's that kind of thing. Of course, all that's not going through your head. What's going through your head? Oh no, they're all looking at me. What should I do? What should I do? Right, that's it, that's it. Yes. And then so, you know, there's lots of different types of shouting there. And then finally, oh, is it finally? And then finally, there's the kind of shouting that you do at your child's when you haven't looked after yourself. It's the, it's the kind of thing that comes down to kind of self-care. If you haven't had enough rest or if you've been really stressed, you've got lots going on, you know something that your child does which might be really tiny it's going to just take you over the edge ah! it's going to be that that kind of takes you over the edge and brings you to shouting so the shouting isn't about the child or what they've done the shouting is about you and how you're feeling about the situation about you feeling about yourself so and i think that that's a lot of the time i hear from other mums and stuff you know oh, i spent the morning shouting at my child and you feel really bad about it but it, it comes down to you and your kind of self-care 
So I think, you know, if you do find yourself kind of shouting at your child a lot and you're feeling really bad about it, it's time to kind of take a little step back and go, okay, what can I do for myself? How can I treat myself better, look after myself better? And by doing that, you're going to be a better parent. You won't kind of snap, you know, won't be on the edge all the time going, oh, why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? He's so unfair. It's not unfair. It's you that feels stressed. It's you that's hurting. It's, you know, feeling overwhelmed. And you, if you feel that coming up, I mean, it's just going to stop, you know, to take those 10 seconds. You know, it's often said, if you feel angry, take count to 10 or if you can have that kind of moment where you can switch your brain and go, okay, why am I feeling so angry about this? And another kind of really good technique is just to, when you're so angry with them, just to go and give them a really big hug and going to give them a really big sniff, a big <laughs> smell in the hair because it really diffuses your anger very quickly. Now, another kind of, another part of kind of, the, the shouting and that kind of things. I find, personally, as a mother of five, my shouting kind of comes in different ways. Uh, my teenage son, now he's, <laughs> here's an example. So I'm, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be in the mornings. Mornings are pretty tricky trying to get him up. So you might have seen memes about this on, on Facebook and all those kind of things. I've seen them and I thought, oh my God, that is me. That is so me. And it's where you go, can you get up now, please? Morning, rise and shine. Okay, another five minutes goes by. Okay, everybody, time to get up. Time to get up, come on. Time to go, let's go get some breakfast. Another five minutes. Starting to feel a little bit. Okay, right, okay, come on, everybody. We really need to get up now. Everyone really needs to get up. Can we get up now, please? And then it's like, silence. Okay, are you out of bed now? Are you come on? You really need to get up. It's it's getting late. We need to get up. <sighs> okay, okay. Right, come on, come on. We know we really need to get up. Right, I'm trying to hard to get us already. Can you just get up now, please? Can you get up? <sighs> okay, we need to go. Time's getting on. Right, that's it. That's it. You, you don't get up. That's you're never going out again. You're never getting pocket money. You're having nothing for tea, and you will never see daylight again. Or is it just me? Is that just my mornings? <laughs> so as as you can see there, there is a little development. I started off being a very good mother, but about kind of ten times later. I was a <laughs> So now you see I can ask the question to myself how could I stop that situation? Now with teenagers, you know, it doesn't quite work the same. So if it was an adult, you'd go, okay, I'll I'll put in an alarm at the other side of the room and then we'll have a timer switch for his lights to go on uh, and then we'll wake him up with a nice cup of tea. And with a teenager, all those very, very great things don't get that same kind of welcome that you'd want. You kind of go, uh, uh, I'm getting up. Uh, I'm getting up. Why are you leave me alone? Uh, right, that's it. I'm not doing to school. I'm not doing anything for you. And before long, you know, you've crossed that fine line. The fine line is the one you can, with teenagers, you one with walk with. I'll get him to do what I want, I'll get him to do what I want, I'll get him to do what I want. Right, that's it! Oh no, it won't do what I want, it won't do what I want. <laughs> so, I'm not sure I can give any answers to this because I haven't, I haven't quite managed the magic formula. Um, but, you know, the self-care kind of helps. Like making sure you have enough time for yourself to get yourself ready and stuff. Lots of deep breathing. Occasionally... Don't tell anyone, but I do go to bribes. Ooh, if you get up now, I'll, I'll take you to McDonald's for a breakfast. I've done that before. I've done that. It's like, right, we're all up to McDonald's for breakfast. Yay! <laughs> oh. oh, dear. But, yeah, so that's another kind of bit of shouting that goes on. Oh, there's, there's one more. But, you know, I think it is okay to shout at your children. You know, don't scream at them all the time because you know it sends your blood pressure up high it sends them on kind of nervous edge and kind of you know a little bit kind of oh, oh someone's showing me someone's showing at me kind of thing and you know you don't nobody wants to be the shouty mom it's not a great thing to be it's not a great look being the shouty mom so 
you know but you do you can shout sometimes don't think you know i say you're not going to be judged of course you're going to be judged they'll blooming judge you for everything just ignore them but yeah it's okay to be the shouting mum sometimes because if you're not sometimes a shouting mum then you become the other mum what's the other mum who knows what the other mum is okay it's the come on darling come on we'll go we'll go do that no, no, Dan, no, no, Dan, let's stop that now. Okay, let's stop that. No, Dan, stop biting me. S no, stop biting me, Dan. Let's, let's stop biting me. Let's stop biting me. You know, I don't, I don't want to be hard on mums like that, but, you know, that, that kind of, that sometimes, you know, that can really damage the parent's self-esteem. And the child kind of gets a bit confused about the boundaries, you know, like she's, she's not got, she's not got an angry voice with me, so maybe this is okay, that kind of thing. And I've seen that in a few people. And it's sad, and I think, you know, in that kind of situation, you know, a child bites you. I think it's okay to shout at that child, you know, if you want to do a nice squeeze, and if you can find another way to do it without that, but the kind of almost begging your child to get off you, you know, maybe a little bit of a bit, and, we don't know, and when we're saying this and talking kind of older children, younger ones that maybe don't understand so much, a little bit of a tickle or a something will get them off, but... You know, when they're older and they're biting and they know that they're biting on hitting, you know, you see a lot of children, I've, I've seen children kind of hitting the parents, really going for it, really hitting them and they're just, the parents just can remain strong and then you're just like, I think it's okay to show that you're a little bit angry there. Obviously, you know, if a child has got, you know, special needs, then that may, might not be, you know, that's going to be definitely a different circumstance which needs to be worked together and worked through. Um, but, you know, for the, you can, your average child... If they're hitting you and stuff, you know, you're allowed to show your anger. I think showing your anger is going to be good because it's good for them to learn in the outside world that if they go around hitting people, then what they're going to actually get is a big whack back, you know. So, so their situation is okay to say, show your anger. So you don't need to be the kind of, oh, please don't do that, don't, please don't do that, please don't do that. You can go, no, I don't like that, please don't do that, you know. A much kind of stronger, you know. And if you need to shout, then shout then, you know. I think that's okay. Um, and another reason why you have to show shout sometimes and you know it's useful to show you because there's that other parent you can be now do, now do you know what this one is okay so this one is the come on now get in the car get in the car nice big room full of people there get in the car now get in the car you get in the car now <laughs> or is that just me that does that as well <laughs> That's the kind of the ventriloquist face. So I'm smiling. I'm happy. Goodbye, everybody. Get in the car now. Get in the car. All right, that's it. We go. Who's done that? Who's done that? Hands up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So you know, it's uh, so. I hope this kind of. So yeah. So you don't really want to be that mum either, because that's a little bit. That's a little bit menacing, to say the least. So, yeah, so have a little think, have a little think about kind of times that you find that you shout and kind of just take a little step back and go, okay, why am I shouting? Is it dangerous situations? Is it because I haven't looked after myself enough? Uh, you know, my patience is really, really all over the place. Am I disorganised? Am I shouting because I'm so disorganised? I haven't, you know, got everyone up in time, which is probably me. That's what I, <laughs> that's probably what I'm doing, you know. I'm not up and organised enough in time. If I kind of woke myself up half an hour before, gave myself a little bit of time without anyone awake, you know, just to kind of <sighs> rise, then, you know, maybe that would help my mornings and that would stop me going from, please get up to, get up now! <laughs> kind of mum. <laughs> so... I'd love to hear what you think about this video and about your style of shouting and what you think about it. Am I right? Am I wrong? You know, do I have to be right? Yeah, I might be wrong. You might totally and utterly disagree with everything I say, but if you do, tell me. You tell me what it is. Anyway, so thank you for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, just press the subscribe button so you can see some more of my videos. And thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.